It's always an exciting day for a new review. Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the brand new Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate Concealer and the Shade and Illuminate Blushes. So if you wanna see my thoughts on them, then just keep watching. Hi guys, if you're new here, my name is Morgan. I am a product knowledge enthusiast. I just love knowing anything and everything about all of the new makeup on the market and sharing my thoughts with you guys. And I took a gander over to Nordstrom today. I actually did the online order pickup, which if you haven't done that, it's a godsend. It's amazing. So the new shade and illuminate items launched online at Nordstrom and I saw that they were available for pickup yesterday. So I added them and it could have been same day pickup, but we had what was Hurricane Ida yesterday yesterday over us and my area flooded so I couldn't go. We went today though. <laughs> so I was able to pick up what I wanted more than what I wanted honestly. I will have timestamps if you're interested in specific products. We're gonna start off with the shade and illuminate concealer. I did also pick up two colors of the blushes. Let's start off with the concealer so I can look not quite as crazy. Let's address the elephant in the room with these. The price, oh my god. This was a major, I bought these so you didn't have to. We all know Tom Ford's pricing is always crazy, but I feel like he's starting to lose his mind, okay? So we're gonna start off with the concealer. This is the Shade and Illuminate Concealer that just launched. It says it's going to be a Nordstrom exclusive, so the only place you can purchase this, at least right now, is Nordstrom, so I will have that linked down below for you guys. This is $90. I cannot believe I spent $90 in my concealer. This concealer is gonna have to be amazing for me to recommend it to you guys. I will say right now for my base, I'm wearing the Tom Ford foundation stick and I love it. It's worth every penny. So <laughs> I don't know. I wouldn't be surprised if I like this. This is described as a Nordstrom exclusive crease proof concealer that helps boost skin's radiance and even skin tones. It's supposed to have a medium coverage, be buildable and waterproof and merges three dimensional skincare with three dimensional radiance. Has highly Hyaluronic acid. Okay, anyways, let's just get into it. It comes in the typical Tom Ford box here. This is made in Italy, has a six month shelf life, not very long, and has 0.18 ounces of product. Here is what the packaging looks like. Honestly, really gorgeous. It fits in perfectly with the Tom Ford makeup line. It's very, very heavy. It definitely feels luxe. So you're not getting skimped out on the packaging here. It's very, very heavy. So I ended up with the shade 2N0 Cream. At my Nordstrom, they didn't have testers of these, so I couldn't see what my perfect shade was gonna be. So me and the SA were kind of looking through the shades and we thought by looking at this, this would be my best color. So we will see. See, I haven't even haven't even opened it or tested it. I'm gonna get in a little bit closer here. Let's see what she can do. Here's what the applicator looks like. Pretty uh, pretty standard. I'm just gonna do a little bit and let's just see. I'm using an e.l.f. sponge right now. Oh, this is a good color for me. Okay, so a little bit goes a long way. You don't need too much of it. That spread out beautifully. And it gave me pretty good coverage and I'm not gonna lie to you guys, it looks pretty smooth under there. Let's just do a dab more. I know this is the trendy thing to do. And let's get the leftovers on the lid. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. This is just the first time I'm drying it, but it feels really good. The consistency of it is a bit thin in a good way, but it has a little bit of thickness in there that I think gives it the coverage. It feels very soft. It feels really nice, I'm not gonna lie. It doesn't feel too liquidy, but it still feels thin. So you can see it's not a water kind of consistency, but it, it feels really lightweight and it doesn't feel thick at all. Listen, I'm not saying it's worth $90, but it looks really good right now. Take a close up of my under eyes. I'm gonna set one eye and then leave the other eye unset just to see, I don't know, if that makes a difference. I'm gonna get the red spots. So if you're around my skin tone, cream is a great color. I don't wanna say this, but so far I like it. We're still at the very, very beginning stages though. Because this is a review, I am only going to set 
one of my under eyes. So I'm gonna use my Gucci Beauty Powder. I'm just gonna set under this eye. I'm still gonna set the rest of my face, but not this under eye. Side note, this powder just smells delightful to apply. So here's what it looks like set. It looks really good. I would definitely say it is a medium coverage. It's not a crazy full coverage, but it's just enough. I think if I put a bit of a color corrector underneath, it would all be good. I wouldn't have any darkness showing through. So that first application looks really good. I am going to apply my eyes and then we will be back for the blushes, so give me one second. I did my eyes. I used the Tom Ford Quad in Seuss Le Sable. I know I just butchered that, but how pretty is this for everyday rose tones? Really love it. Ugh, you really just have some amazing quality. Price is expensive, but the quality is so bomb. And then thanks to you guys, I used my new favorite eyeliner pen, the eye defining pen from Tom Ford. It really is also the best. I just wanted to take a quick look at the concealer now that it's set down kind of settled into the skin. Something that I did forget to mention, there are 20 shades. The range looks pretty good. A bit heavy in the lighter tones though, but we do have 20 shades. The finish of this concealer has a slight radiance to it, so it's not going to be too matte or drying. I think it's a gorgeous natural finish, and it looks good on both the set and unset eye. I would say maybe a little bit of product has sunk into the fine lines, but like very, very small for not being set. I'm not mad at it. You can just kind of take your finger and push it and it will go back to looking perfect. And the side that has been set literally looks perfect. We're early on, but I very, very good feelings about this concealer, unfortunately. I hate to bring it to you. <laughs> but let's move on to the Shade and Illuminate blush. I was expecting his blush to be around $60 to $70. For reference, his cheek duos are $84, but I thought, I don't know, I just thought $60 to $70 for this. $90 is a lot. He's upping the prices of his makeup, so just, you're paying a lot for these. I did pick up two shades. I immediately regretted it. I wish I had only picked up one, but we will see. So these are not a Nordstrom exclusive, so they are available right now on the Beautylish website. The Beautylish site actually has more shades than the Nordstrom website. So on Nordstrom, there's four shades, and then on Beautylish, there are six shades. So definitely take a look on Beautylish. I just thought Nordstrom was more convenient because you could get it today. And on the Beautylish website, it did say it would take a few days to ship. So pros and cons, you have to weigh them out. Here is the box that they are going to come in. Then as per usual, they're going to come in their velvet slip. Here's what the packaging looks like. And then it's this kind, see how it opens just like this. No annoying brush or anything. You have the mirror, it stands up on its own and the cheek color. These are made in Italy. They are 0.22 ounces. Now these are a skin perfecting blush featuring one matte and one frost shade to deliver sheer to medium buildable coverage. So right here in my hand, I have this shade Sun Drunk and I have not tried these on myself, but I just tried this on my mom. She has a medium skin tone. She's about an NC40 for reference. And this shade looked beautiful on her. If you're worried about this peachy shade, she actually preferred this shade on her skin tone. Uh, so they looked beautiful on her. So let's try them on me though, so that we can see them in action. I'm using a refer number four brush. It looks dirty, but I swear to you it is clean. But let me swatch these first. So the first one we'll do is Sun Drunk, and you can definitely tell they are not overly pigmented, which I prefer. It looks like the peachy shade looks a little bit more matte. It almost makes the skin look airbrushed underneath. And then the pinky shade, I guess, has a little bit more sheen, but they're, they're they're quite flat, honestly. I don't know. It says online that you can blend the shades together for warmth or you can use separately to sculpt your cheekbones and highlight your complexion. You can't necessarily highlight with a glow. The other shade that I got is Explicit Flush. This is number two and Sun Drunk was number five, by the way. So this one's a little bit more pinky. It's less warm. I haven't tried this one yet. So there seems to be a lighter shade and then a more of a pop shade. And you can see the lighter shade really really does seem to kind of airbrush the skin underneath. It's very interesting. So let's try Explicit Flush first, which is gonna be the bottom colors that I swatch. I wanna see how the lighter shade looks first. So we'll put that down first. 
I get way more color from it than I was expecting. And one thing that I did notice from applying this on my mom is that it really did give a smoothing effect to the skin. They claim that this almost perfects the skin and I 100% agree with that. I saw that happening. It makes the skin look smoother underneath. And then let's go in with the pop shade right here, or at least that's what I'm calling it. You see these carry more pigment. I agree that they're more sheer to buildable, but they give you a lot of color. They're very thin and smooth on the cheek. I'm not telling you guys to spend $90 for a blush. Absolutely not. But as far as the quality, it's gorgeous. Look at that. It gives not a complete matte finish on the cheek, but it's very skin-like. It has a realistic radiance to it. Beautiful. Okay, let me try the other color now. So we're gonna do Sun Drunk. This is the one that I tried on my mom and both shades looked good on her skin tone. If you're light like me, I mean, you can see them showing up. So I definitely see this, especially if you get the darker colors carrying well over to other skin tones. They have pigment to them, but they're so easy to blend out. And this shade is the one that kind of airbrushes the skin and makes the cheek look really smooth. So if you have a lot of texture on your cheek, I think you will enjoy this formula because it does give that perfected airbrushed look to the skin. Let's use this shade, which is a little bit more mauve-y. Oh my gosh, the, the texture of the powder is so soft, you guys, and it makes the skin look soft as well. It carries that onto the skin. Oh, this review was a little bit more positive than I wanted it to be, but they look beautiful. I think for $90, I definitely did not need both, but I'm happy with them, I will say that. I'm gonna kind of use my sponge to blend out the edges, make sure it blends into the skin great. I don't have any bronzer or any highlight on right now, and here is how they're looking. If you buy one, you of course have the option to use one shade on each cheek, but I like the look of them blended together as well. So in these, you're going to get a lighter shade, which is going to be more natural, and then you get a brighter shade. You can mix them together as well. I'm surprised that they're both blushes. I would have thought at least one would have been more so of a blush topper as opposed to them pretty much having virtually the same finish. What I'm trying to understand here, it says one finish is matte and one finish is a frost, but the differences are minuscule. They both look like a, not quite a satin. They both look like a hybrid between a matte and a satin, not completely, completely flat. I mean, you can see that finish on the cheek. Beautiful formula though, I must say. I am going to finish the rest of my face, throw on some lips, some bronzer, and I will be back to give you my final thoughts. All right, guys, here are final thoughts. I will be doing a wear test and hopefully everything stays consistent to right now because <laughs> I really like everything that I tried today. So let's start off with the concealer. For me, I think the concealer is the standout so far of my purchases. I didn't wanna love this, $90 for a concealer is outrageous. And I do think it's important to acknowledge the price. However, as a standalone product, as far as the quality, this is one of the most beautiful concealers that I've tried recently. I mean, I love it. It looks so skin-like and natural. It seems to set down really well. I do prefer the side right now that has a little bit of powder over it, but I do think the concealer is doing a very nice job being self-set. And if you do find that you don't like the look of powder on your under eyes, I mean, it's not really sinking into my fine lines. Obviously, I'm 25, so I don't have mature eyes, but where the fine lines are, I find that if you just lightly pat in, it's all good and it doesn't seem to sink in too much after. You can get away with using very little product with this. It does give pretty good cover feels really light on the skin, looks gorgeous and radiant, seems to stay put so far. So hopefully this stays consistent because I'm really loving this. As far as the blushes, I also am very happy with these. What I'm most impressed with about these is how airbrushed it makes the skin look. It just gives the most perfected poreless look on the skin. They still give quite a lot of color while still blending out to be quite sheer and they work out completely effortlessly. So if you're more on the fair 
side, these will still work on you. When it comes to the darker shade, you might need to use a lighter hand just to be careful because they did pack quite a punch as you saw in the demo. But if you're looking for a nice smoothing blush that works out effortlessly, has pretty colors, I do like these. I don't think you need to buy more than one color. If you are similar to me and that you like the brand Tom Ford, you enjoy the luxury experience and what luxury makeup has to offer, I do recommend picking up one of these. However, if you're like, I'm not paying $90 for a blush, you'll be okay. <laughs> you don't need to spend $90 on a blush. But so far, I mean, I think Tom Ford quality wise did a fantastic job with this launch. All right, you guys, that is all I have for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you aren't subscribed to my channel already, I would love it if you would consider taking the time to do so. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye right, guys, have a good one.